Hello and welcome to the 10th lecture, Energy Minimization. We have been continuing our discussion on molecular dynamics theory. And in the previous lecture, we have introduced you at a very high level to periodic boundary conditions, which is needed to run a molecular dynamics simulation in general. And now we will uh, learn about another concept, energy minimization. So this is a flashback of the previous lecture where we have shown that a central uh, box is actually extended or copied uh, infinitesimally uh, in all directions to uh, get a macroscopic level of properties or a bulk property. Now, let's say you have a structure or a system or a simulation box to run, but uh, if you run the simulation with the default mechanisms without doing any fine tuning, energetically speaking, it will most likely not run because the default coordinates or the conformation of the atoms in the system may not be energetically viable or optimized. Uh, because remember that we are defining the behavior of the system in terms of potential energy, uh, but you have to actually minimize the potential energy of the system before running any simulation so that you uh, do not run into any error, energetically speaking. So that's why uh, you run an energy minimization algorithm on the whole system before running the actual simulation, and that's called energy minimization of the system in general. And uh, if you uh, talk about a very high level definition of it, it is actually altering the conformation of the atoms in the system so that you can actually uh, know another conformation that is uh, actually at a local energy minimum of the system. So the system will try to find out at which conformation the total energy, total potential energy is at a minimum state to begin with. And then from that state, you run the actual simulation. And to get the energy minimization, there are several default algorithms that come into play. For example, steepest descent algorithm or conjugate gradient algorithm. And there are many others uh, for which there are detailed documentation. But, in, but as a general scheme, uh, if I want to define it, uh, here, the energy tolerance and the force tolerance are generally set up, and it is run for some iterations to see whether the system can go into a very low, low, very low local or global minima of energy to begin with the system to run the actual MD simulation and to find whether the energy and displacement of the system uh, is close to zero. Uh, it will run for some iterations and try to validate this set of conditions uh, to get to the uh, initial vi energetically viable condition. And that's how you run an energy minimization of an energy uh, of, a, of an MD simulation. And uh, so far, I have covered the overall theory of molecular dynamics that will be sufficient at high level to run a molecular dynamics simulation. And in the next lecture, we'll go through the overall MD review and scope. Thanks.